Herplesheimers, Herplesheimers! <laughs> bah! I can't stand children. They're the only ones silly enough to believe in Santa. It's toys that make Christmas fun, not Santa. Well, they certainly won't believe in Santa if they never reach the North Pole. And they won't reach the North Pole. Ball if they don't have tickets for the Polar Express. <laughs> and they'll never find these tickets before the conductor throws them off the train. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I want all those Herplesheimer's toys. I'm gonna ask Santa for all of them. Tickets? Tickets, please. I'll be coming back to check your tickets shortly. Make sure you have them ready. I've got my ticket right here. But I, I, I can't find my ticket. I never lose my ticket. I always keep it here, safe in my pocket. My ticket, it's gone! I, I lost, lost my ticket! My ticket. My ticket. If we don't find our tickets, we're all gonna get kicked off the train. It's standard procedure, you know? Everybody calm down. Now why don't you go and search for your tickets in the other train cars, and if the conductor comes by, we'll cover for you while you're gone. Okay! okay. They might not be able to find their tickets by themselves. Maybe one of us should go and help them. Okay. You stay here and keep an eye out for the conductor. I'll go and help find their tickets. Spooky. That Jack in the Box has my ticket and it won't give it back. Don't be afraid. If we go in there together, it won't be so scary. Do you know which Jack in the Box has your ticket? I, I don't know. I was so frightened. I nearly dropped my flashlight when I was looking around in there. Okay. Here's the plan. You hold the flashlight and I'll check Jack in the Boxes. Try to be brave. I don't like the dark much either. I'll, I'll try. wasn't the one. That wasn't the one. That wasn't the one. Ow. Ow. 
wasn't the one. Hey, why did you run off? I can't open the toys without you. It's too scary. I don't want to go back in there. I'm pretty sure I know which toy it's in. We'll find it in no time. Okay, I'll give it one more shot. Hey, did you see that? The boxes have switched places. Spooky. Now, which toys haven't we tried? wasn't the one. That wasn't the one. No, we found it together. I couldn't have done it without your help. But hurry back before the conductor starts looking for us. What are you doing here? Well, I came to help you look for your ticket. Obviously. I know where my ticket is. There's a gang of nasty puppets in there, and they've refused to give it back. I'm not afraid of some old puppets. I'll go in there and get your ticket back for you. I've come to get my friend's ticket back. If you want to stop me, you better do it now. have to get past my puppets if you want that ticket.
<laughs> You'll have to get past my puppets if you want that ticket. my puppets if you want that ticket. Don't be so pleased. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Don't you know it's against railway regulations to throw objects inside the train cars? Well, they started it and was the only way I could get your ticket. By the way, here it is. Well, thanks for helping me get my ticket back. If I were you, I'd be getting out of here now before the cook finds out what you did with all that food. Good idea. I'm gonna go find the others and see if they found their tickets. I'm afraid he's going to be left behind all alone on Christmas Eve. <laughs> You're going to have to get past me if you want to pull this emergency brick. And I don't believe that you can do it. Do you? <laughs> the other tickets are. <laughs> you look like a good sport. The ticket you're looking for is on the other side of this train car. If you can get the ball past me, then you can pass. Let's play! Thank <laughs> you. 
very angry and he won't let anyone enter the kitchen. But I have to get inside because someone has hidden my ticket in there. Um, why is the cook angry? Someone messed up all the food he made. Now he's got to make more. Uh, yeah, that was me. But it wasn't really my fault. Those puppets started it. Don't worry, though. I'm going to sneak in there and get your ticket back. Okay, just be careful. The cook is not in a good mood at all. Close! He sure is in a bad mood. Here's your ticket. Oh, thank you. You're so brave. Duh, what a racket! We'll never hear you if you go through now. I'll rejoin the others. Ticket yet? I'm so glad to see you here. I can't get past this train car. The door at the other end of the pantry is locked. Did you look for a key? I searched and I found it, but promise me you won't laugh. I won't laugh. Some horrible little mice ran off with it. I'm really scared of mice. <laughs> hey, you said you wouldn't laugh. I'm sorry. Well, how about I catch those mice for you? and then we can search the next train car for your ticket. Okay, but I'll only come in once you've got the key.
never believe it, but those mice were only wind-up toys. You shouldn't be scared of toys. Toys? Well, still, I'm glad you found the key because now we can go and look for my ticket. Maybe it's in the next room. Okay, we better hurry. Let's go. Wait a minute! I think I see my ticket. It's there, frozen in a block of ice. We'll need something to break the ice apart. Use that ice smasher thing. An ice smasher? That sounds cool. I want to try that. Okay. Well, just be careful. The floor is very slippery, and those blocks of ice look dangerous. I wonder what's in that package. I sure did. Here you go. Thank you. There's one more boy up ahead. He must still be looking for his ticket. Don't worry. You head back with the others. I'll help him find his ticket, and the conductor will never suspect the thing. to help you find your ticket. I fought puppets, dodged toys, smashed ice blocks, trapped mice, and even hid from an angry cook. Whoa! Now that's impressive. I hope you can help me. My ticket is locked in a suitcase in the next car. I found a key hanging by the door, but I can't get to the suitcase because there are these mean toys who... Let me guess. Those toys in there, they won't give you your ticket. That's right jump up and threaten me whenever I enter the room. You'll need these if you're going in there. Leave it to me. We are all going to the North Pole, and we need those tickets. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Thanks for finding my ticket. I don't think we'll be having any more trouble from those toys. They'll stay shut for a long time. We should go back and join the others. Yup. We better get back before the conductor throws us off the train. Blasted boy! Messing up my plans! Who does he think he is pushing us toys around like that? But I've still got a trick up my sleeve. Let's see what happens to the girl when she realizes she's lost her ticket! <laughs> They'll never find it here! We've all got something we'd like to say to you. One, two, three! Thank, Thank you for finding my ticket! Uh, that's okay. It was nothing, really. Okay. Well, if it was nothing, we should probably all sit down and stop blocking the car. Railroad Regulation 74 forbids passengers from obstructing fire exits, you know. You're such a know-it-all. He's read about one thing, though. We should get back to our seats. I can hear the conductor coming. You have lost your ticket? Nothing knocks me off this train. That girl was depending on me. I'm not going to let her down. Oh, it's too late. I have to show this ticket to the conductor. Oh, it's too late. up here, but I'm impressed that you managed to get this far. You're a regular hero, trying to give that girl her ticket back. But let me tell you, if you thought getting up here was hot, then you better prepare yourself for a shock. That was nothing, because frankly, there's no way you're going to make it if you stay on the roof. So it's hopeless then? There's one way to get that ticket back to the girl. Do you want to hear it? Y yes We gotta jump off this here train and take a shortcut. Now look me in the eye. Do you believe that you can do this? I guess I can do it. I can do it. Okay, take my hand. Draw a deep breath. On the count of three, we're gonna ski down the hill. You're gonna need to shift your weight to steer us clear of the rocks. One. Two, three! Like I was saying, this here is the fastest route to the front of the train.
one in the train.
your help. We're not done yet, though. We need to fix the light so we can see our way forward. You did a great job back there. Yeah, you did too. I'm just worried about what the conductor will do when he realizes that I've stopped the train again. Don't worry about that. We can work it out if we stick together. Now that the track is clear, we need to get this train back on schedule. It's five minutes to midnight. We're cutting it awfully fine. Okay, we need to build up the steam pressure again and get this train moving. That's right. We gotta stoke the fire and build up the heat. We're only gonna make it if we all work, work together. together. Young man, you seem to have some skill at resolving these situations. Do you believe you have what it takes to get this train going again? He's shown that he's brave. We know that he's deaf. Just gotta believe that he's got the right stuff. I'm gonna do it. Let's get this train moving. should be able to make up time if we keep working at it. Thanks for your help, young fella. We couldn't have done it without you. Young lady, there's still one matter outstanding, as you have failed to produce a valid ticket. Railway regulations specify that you must leave the train. Holy smokes, I forgot! I found your ticket. Thank you! This ticket appears to be valid. Uh-huh. Well, in that case, all right then, time for us to head back. But thank you 
for finding me my ticket. I really thought the conductor was gonna throw me off the train. It was nothing. I'm just glad I got to blow that whistle. I always wanted to do that. Okay, let's head back. I should warn you though, there are some nasty toys on this train. I've got a sneaking suspicion that there may be trouble ahead. Look at all these crates! How are you going to be able to get through here? What is that? Don't worry. It sounds like we have some company. Just keep your head down. I'll take care of these toys. Once the coast is clear, follow me across the train car. Okay, yes, be careful. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I'm gonna get you! Guess who? <laughs> floor really looks slippery. Oh, it's really slippery. Hey, look, there's a pair of ice boots. Hey, why didn't I get that the first time? If I put them on, I should be able to walk safely and make a path for you. Okay. If you push the boxes around, I'll be able to slide across and use the boxes to steady myself. Call me when you're ready. Come over 
over here. Whee! Come over okay. here. Whee! Come okay. over here. Jumping up when you chase the floor. Watch out! Hey, hey, 
children care to join us in the dining car? It's time we had some refreshments. Attention, please. Would there be any po Polar Express passengers requiring refreshment? Yes! That's what I thought. I'm going to need your assistance, young man. As you can see, we have a lot of thirsty passengers, but we're short one waiter. I need you to help out and make sure that everyone gets a cup of hot chocolate. Do you think you can do that? Uh, I think so. I've never done it before. Trust me, I think you'll be a natural. I saved this for you. Thank you. Extra marshmallows, too. My favorite. Excuse me, sir. Yes, young lady. What can I do for you? I was wondering if I could take a cup to the boy who's all alone in the other train car. You mean the boy in the observation car? Yes. Certainly, but we'll have to be quick. Five minutes to midnight, we're almost at the North Pole! What are we going to do? As long as we don't crash into anything, we should be all right. I bet you can use that wheel to steer the train car. Whoa! It works! Sort of. Okay, we have to be careful we don't move too far, but at least we can avoid things on the track. Got it! One more thing, though. Where are we going? I'll tell you when we get there. Here we go!
night, you stowaways. Party's over. Um, hi. But I, I, I just followed them. Don't worry about it. Look, we knew you were in there the entire time. It's great to have you on board. We have a slight problem, though. And I wonder if you would be kind enough to help. Sure. Of course. I'll try. If I help, does that mean I'll be the first to meet Santa? Now, is one of you good with him and vehicles? Because I need someone to steer the Zeppelin. I think I could help you, Captain. Fantastic! I need you to control the movement of the Zeppelin. Do you think you can do it? i got to help the other elves lighten the load. I'll do whatever I can to help. What do you need me to do? Oh, one more thing. Try to keep the Zeppelin from crashing into things. And make sure that Santa's sack of presents isn't damaged. Got it? Good. Aye, aye, sir. I'll give it my best effort. All right. Good luck, young man. And remember, Santa is relying upon you. You understand? He is relying upon you.
careful. We'll make it. Gotta be more careful. Oops. Gotta be more careful. Young man, I salute you. Thanks, but we're not quite there yet. Don't you worry, I'll take it from here. The disaster has been averted. Um, thank you. You should go enjoy your friends now. We're almost there. Hey, welcome back. You made it. You saved the day. Could you have made the ride any more bumpy? Look, we're almost there.
Well done, young man. I salute you. Thanks, but we're not quite there yet. Don't you worry. I'll take it from here. The disaster has been averted. Um, thank you. You should go enjoy your friends now. We're almost there. Hey, welcome back. You made it. You saved the day. Could you have made the ride any more bumpy? Look, we're almost there. <laughs> 